My dear friends, we love you so very much. As many of you celebrate your season of renewal and resurrection, we celebrate with you. You are all capable of renewing your life and resurrecting your spirit, no matter the condition of your mind, body, and emotions, regardless of the circumstances around you. Whether you are 20 or 90, it is possible to renew your vitality. Whether you are rich or poor, you can resurrect yourself into abundance. Whether you are happy or miserable, you can resurrect even greater joy and passion for life. It is our deep desire that each of you allow divine love to help renew your joy, your abundance, your health, your happiness, and your sense of well-being. Life is always lifing. Love is always flowing. And as you tap into this endless stream of vibrant, pure, loving energy from the source, everything in your life will take a turn for the better. Renewal is possible, dear ones, even when you can't imagine the way. Resurrection is possible, even when you feel discouraged or beaten down. In every given moment, you have an opportunity to allow the endless stream of life to flow to you and through you once again. And in that stream's flow, all things are indeed made new. The thing that makes you feel helpless or hopeless at times is often simply not knowing how to fix an undesirable condition in your mind, heart, or life. You are grieving and don't know how you'll ever feel good again. You've lost your company or an investment and have no idea how to recoup the money at this age. You've had a string of challenging relationships and find it hard to believe you could have a good one. You feel like your ship has sailed, the opportunity has passed, or it has never worked in the past. And so, dear ones, it is very easy to give up on what you truly want. We understand this mindset. We understand how compelling 3D reality is. If you operate in 3D reality while not knowing you are governed by the energetic reality, then it can seem hopeless to hope and difficult to dream. However, now you know better than you did in the past. Now you know that your energy affects what you attract. Now you know that the previous failed relationships probably started out with a need to improve upon self-worth. And after the first not-so-great partner, your focus on that one attracted the next, and so forth. However, now you know differently. You can focus on things that feel happy. You can focus on friendships that are beautiful. You can focus on a loving relationship with your dog or cat. And in doing any of these things, you emanate a vibration compatible with good relationships and will attract more. Many of you argue with us. I haven't found a good one yet, you say. We know you're telling the truth. We have great compassion. We gently remind you to relax and allow the universe to bring you your partner. We remind you to think about it with anticipation and to celebrate love wherever you find it in your life. Live in love, dear ones, and then however you want love to come your way, it will. The more you focus on what feels good to you, the more you allow the stream of divine love to carry you towards what you want and what you want towards you. The more you doubt, the more you operate without this stream of life's renewing power. If you feel uncomfortable in your body, by all means, do what you know to do, but then sit quietly each day, if only for five, ten minutes, and intend to receive love. Breathe. Listen to some beautiful music if you like, and let your heart soar. Walk comfortably in your imagination. Remember times you felt good in as much detail as possible, or if you prefer, quiet your mind and simply focus on the breath. As you release your focus on the problem, even for such small periods of time, you will allow the healing stream to renew your cells and remind the new ones being born of their perfection. All things are possible with God, dears ones, but to enter the healing stream, you must allow yourself to feel as good as you can feel, given what is going on in you or around you. There is never any judgment in the heavens against you. There is only great compassion and a strong desire on our part to entice you to notice things that feel more and more like love. We always strive to help you enter this beautiful, 
healing, uplifting, abundant stream of love and life that will renew anything in need of renewal in your lives. Sit with us, dear ones, not for our sake, not for the sake of being holy or pleasing God, but because it gives you an opportunity to receive the renewing life force, the love of God, that can indeed resurrect anything you like in your mind, heart, emotions, or life. You are loved beyond anything you can possibly imagine, without condition, and this stream of love flows eternally, just waiting for you to receive its grace. Relax into it. Receive. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels The Angels